Hey everybody, this is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to start a video that has been a long time coming. As a matter of fact, this guitar project has been with me for well over a year. It was over at my old shop, actually, and it came over to the new shop with us. Um, you know, sometimes people have ideas and we, we, we get started on one thing or we they send us something and plans change and then you know, lives change and then things get back on track and that's really what happened here. So this is a project that, um, it's a complete custom guitar build and it is going to be a pretty neat thing to do. It's entirely custom and you're gonna see just how custom as we go down the path here. But a uh, customer sent me a, a guitar that they wanted to have copied but they also wanted to have enlarged in a peculiar way. So um, we're going to draw it out, we're gonna lay it out, we're gonna draw it out, we're gonna cut it out, and I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. And because this is a custom one-off thing, we're not gonna make a template for this, we're just going to, um, we're just gonna do this the old school way where it's uh, like a design build. We're gonna design, uh, not from within, but we're gonna design it as we go, and we're gonna build it as we go, and there's only gonna be one of them. So this should be a cool video, stick around, and uh, I'm gonna show you how we do it right now. Okay guys, so this guitar, like I said, has been with me in the shop for well over a year. Uh, it was sent to me really for reference purposes only because the customer really digs the outline of the body. It's sort of, it's got, you know, some Ibanez kind of flavor to it, but he wants it to be um, a little bit bigger. And uh, let's see, I think the original work on this was done by uh, Bruce Bennett, but uh, I I'm sure it didn't leave his shop, you know, all torn apart like this. Um, so yeah, so like I said, this is only done for reference, referencing the, uh, the outline of the body, and that's where we're gonna get started. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to make a drawing that we can um, take over to a blank of ash that we got from Dan at Guitarwood Experts, and, um, uh, and we, need, we need to be able to draw it out, but he wants it to be bigger. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. Now, like I said in the beginning, um, when you when you do this kind of thing, when, this is one of my favorite things to do because it's not a regular template, it's a one-off guitar and it's gonna be really neat. Um, and I want you guys to reference this video when we do the, um, the Great Guitar Build-Off Challenge with um, Ben from Crimson Guitars and, and others. If you haven't checked that out yet, please go to greatguitarbuildoff.com and check out and see what's going on. It's gonna be a lot of fun um, I actually talked with uh, Tom today from Crimson Guitars, and uh, very very nice guy. Uh, I'm looking forward to looking forward to seeing what everybody comes up with. So um, let's go over to uh, to my my drawing pad, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll make some sketches and we'll make some notes. Okay, everybody. So here we got some some a big sheet of paper, and I've got my notes for the uh, for the guitar. What I like to do is I like to actually draw it out on a piece of paper, and I like to write notes on the paper too. So it's important that I have my estimate uh, form here. Um, so this is going to be a um, an ash body, and we are going to increase the size of the 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 host body one inch vertically and one inch horizontally. And what, how we're going to do that is we're going to actually cut the guitar into four sections on paper and then we're going to kind of spread it out and then um, we are going to average the the lines back together once we do that and I'm going to use uh, uh, like I said I'm going to use ash for the body and I'm going to let's you know we're going to draw it out I've got a real sharp pencil here and um, remember the pencil is about a quarter of an inch uh, wide so when I put it on the um, the edge here it's going to be an eighth of an inch bigger, but again, since we're enlarging the whole thing anyway, I think we're going to be okay. Now, normally you want to start with a center line, but because I don't have a center line, I can't really, I can't really do that. What I'll do is uh, come back later and add my center line, um, and and that will be cool. This guitar is also a, a neck through, but the guitar we're going to be building will be a set neck. And I think that's, I think, I, you know, I like set necks better than, uh, than neck through guitars because I think they're cool. Okay. All right, so that should do it. Now we can move this out of the way. We don't need it any longer. So remember, our outline is a little bit big, so having an eraser handy is not, is not a bad thing. You can also go over to the, the, the sander and you can sand a pencil down to where it's flat 
and you can you know run it along the edge and get a more accurate um, uh, trace if you if you like but I think this way works too so especially given that we're gonna we're gonna increase the size of the body so now what I want to do is I want to find and establish my center line and um, so I have a ruler here and I'm just gonna measure down the body here and see where um, you know where is something easy to to find the center of okay here we have 12 and a quarter so if I put six and an eighth right there that would be a good a good center portion and here we have uh, eight and a half so that would be four and a quarter in case I'm confusing you guys so then we'll just we'll draw a line and connect the two and that will become our center line okay and we'll take a protractor and maybe we'll go to you know about the middle of the guitar somewhere in there and we'll put a um, because again, we're gonna we're gonna quarter this guitar, right? So that should give us a pretty good area to kind of kind of figure out what we want to do. Um, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna cut this out and we're going to separate all the pieces, and then we're gonna draw it on the body blank and average out everything else, and we're gonna make effectively make the guitar an inch uh, uh, wider and an inch longer because this is going to be a a big guitar for a big guy. Um, 26 and an eighth inch scale and um, yeah so that's gonna be cool all right now we're going to cut out the the body okay. yeah. all right that's close enough if I was using a bandsaw I'd probably actually do it better now we are going to cut these um, these lines that we made and I'm just going to use a razor blade to do that probably should have used a razor blade to do the whole thing <laughs> but remember guys don't worry that it's like it's a little bit um, uh, that it's a little bit off you know on the, the outlines here because we're gonna we're gonna fix all of that as we go so let's label this one this is the top and this is the bottom just in case it gets tricky to uh, to see, you know what I mean? So like I said, what my customer wants is about an inch. He wants it to look like the, the flag there of like Finland or somewhere. So, um, so now we're going to transfer this over to a body blank and um, get everything laid out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be rad. Let's do that now. Okay guys, uh, get a load of this body blank that we got from Dan at Guitarwood Experts. It's really, really cool. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is locate our center line on the blank and then we're going to transfer our um, our outline to said blank so let's do that now okay guys I got my center line is ready to go on here I got a nice sharp pencil and we're just gonna put our line on that will be good now the reason that uh, I need to put a center line on this is a three-piece body even though it looks like a one-piece body in a lot of ways so I want to make sure that um, that the that my my center piece is is in the center of the guitar. Okay. So now I'm going to add an inch in the middle. All right. So if we were just increasing the um, the width of the guitar, it would go on a little something like this. Of course, we would want to fit the whole guitar on here it would look something like this. But we also want to add an inch right around here. So let's put a mark in the center there so that, so that the lumber will fit, uh, fit our, our, our design. And we'll draw another line and we'll add an inch to the piece. Now guys, if you don't feel comfortable doing this to a, uh, um, um, to the body, you can you can always lay it out uh, on paper, which is which is definitely a good idea um, to do. But there's something that's really cathartic actually about laying this out on a on a blank and kind of going to town, you know, and just sort of just sort of doing it. Well, I think there is. Anyway. Okay. So now this is going to kind of go together. Oh, 
line everything up. I'll move the camera here so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so now, so that is what it actually is going to look like. And what we need to do now is we need to draw around our, our uh, template pieces of paper and kind of make everything look right because obviously our neck pocket is considerably larger than uh, than it needs to be and well our neck our neck heel area and uh, we need to kind of average some of these lines out and we're going to do that now okay this line here averaging that is no big shake because it's flat So you guys can see here what's going to happen is this, if we just continued this line, it would be a good half inch away from the, um, from this, from the bottom section here. So what we're going to have to do is, like I say, kind of average those two things together and make them look, make them look right. Okay. And of course our neck, um, our neck outline doesn't need to be nearly that that gigantic but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and and work with it for now and we're gonna we're gonna cut a bunch of it out as we go we'd rather have extra and cut it off than um, than have too little and go oh man that's a bummer we just burned a body blank so as you guys can see that's quite a bit bigger than the uh, than the previous hey we can actually put this on here and I'll show you. Let's see here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got quite a bit uh, going around, but it, but because we cut it down the center and 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 then put it into quarters, we were able to scooch it out and scooch it around a little bit, so we didn't just make it uh, a half of an inch bigger all the way around. All right, um, let's go over to the bandsaw and cut it out. Well, that was fun. I've never set my little tripod actually on the piece and pushed it through the saw. Uh, I don't know what that video is going to look like, but if it's cool, maybe I'll keep doing it. <laughs> um, okay, so I went ahead and I cut like on the line because again, this is this is oversized, and um, I since I'm going to just be sanding the edge, I don't want to have to remove a bunch of material. I want to. Uh, get it as close as I possibly can because again I'm going to be sanding the edge and I'm gonna do that now um, but before we go over there uh, you know again this is this is a one-off thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sand this until it feels like it's supposed to be and what I mean by that is I don't want to feel any weird bumps I want everything to be to be smooth and like when, when you run your hand around here I don't want you to feel I want it to be you know like a like a, a curve not like a like a 10 miles of bad road. So um, I'm gonna start out with um, my small uh, um, uh, sander that I got from Grizzly because you know this is kind of the old school way. So if you don't have an edge sander, um, but you do have a bandsaw and you have some uh, drum sanders, or I'm sorry, some spindle sanders from, you know, like even from Grizzly or even the Home Depot one, they work actually really, really well. And uh, so let's go over and work on that now and you'll see the transformation happen before your eyes. It'll be magnificent. It's magical. It's a wonderful time to be alive. All right, let's do it. I tell you all what, on a holiday weekend, even though we've been quarantined for two months, everybody's at the home center trying to get stuff. I had to go to two different stores before I could even walk in to buy a new belt for my sander. Um, but I, fortunately, I was able to get to one where they would 
let me in the store and I was able to get some new 4x24 belts uh, for my sander. So enough with the bullshit talk, let's start again. Okay, so there we have it. And all of our edges are nice and smooth. Um, remember, this section got, um, got averaged out into the, uh, into the body so that it would, you know, because what happens is, of course, we stretched it. And hey, get back over there. We stretched it and, and we, had to, we had to figure out a way to get rid of that. So we just sort of worked them in there. And uh, this body is good to go. Okay guys, I think that's a great place to end the video and uh, say let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, I'm glad that we were able to do a, a, a video where we talk about, you know, I, I really only use my bandsaw and that little grizzly edge sander and I tell you what, that's a great tool to use. It also has uh, spindles for doing, you know, like fine work. Um, but man, it, it, it smooths uh, saw kerf and, and, and cuts like it ain't nobody's business, especially with a, um, a 36 grit belt. Now I've got a few little, there's, there's, there's like a little weird bump right there, but I don't want to attack that with such an aggressive sanding belt. I'll probably wait and get it. This is going to get it comfort contours. So I'll probably wait and do all that stuff then. It's a little thick, so we'll need to run it through the, uh, the thicknesser and uh, that will be, it will be super stratty. Remember when I told you the heel was a little bit big too? Um, I want to make the heel, uh, I want to wait till I get the neck pocket put in to, uh, to do the heel. And I don't know if I'll make a video about that, but you could, you know, you could use, uh, you could use a, a regular hand router. You know, I don't know if you guys noticed, I didn't even use my beloved pin router at all for this video. So uh, again, like I said, let's call this a video. If you uh, liked it, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you appreciate stuff like this, we do it all the time. You might want to consider going over to our Patreon page and becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys neat stuff like this. But if you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Share the video as many places as you can think of and help us grow the channel that way. Speaking of growing the channel, I want to remind you guys to go to the Great Guitar Build Off page, which is the I think it's greatguitarbuildoff.com. Link in the description below. And check out all the neat stuff that's going on over there. Um, like I said, I just got a phone with the guys at, at Crimson Guitars. And the, it's very, very exciting what we've got lined up. And uh, as, as I get pieces and components in to show you, of course I will. And uh, as you also know, we're going to do our best to kick everyone's butt in the contest because, you know, we're that kind of competitive sort. Uh, <laughs> I think we're the only ones doing a lot of trash talking, though. Uh, maybe everyone else is more sophisticated than us. I can't spell sophisticated, and I drink light beer, and I watched a lot of wrestling as a kid. So maybe that's just kind of what, you know, happens when you're an ugly American like me. Anyway, guys, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, y'all. Oh,